This alien looking thing is C. asparagus. It's the luxury succulent sea vegetable that's actually the coolest little plant. It's foraged from the high tide lines and the salty marshes along BC's ocean side shores. And it looks like a weird seaweed or kelp and it's very salty. Apparently it fits really well with fine dining and you can find it at luxury restaurants in meats or salads. And I think these would be incredibly delicious pickled and found in kimchi or whatnot. And like I said, they're very salty, but if you want them to be less salty all you gotta do is soak them in cold water for a few hours some people even eat sea asparagus as a vegetable replacement even though technically well it's a fruit because it has seeds but yeah it's a vegetable and not only are they really tasty but humans have been known to use sea asparagus as medicine to help treat ailments like arthritis and pain and of course humans do not throw anything out the ashes of the plant is actually used to make things like glass and soap too now this alien looking fruit plant vegetable, whatever it is, is also found in other parts of the world like Hawaii, parts of Africa, England, but it's still pretty wild for the sea asparagus to end up on your dinner table. However, it's become more popular in the recent decade and it's even now grown hydroponically, which I hate, but it'll only be a matter of time until this pops up everywhere. I'm calling it now that it's going to be found on more menus and you'll be using it at home in no time thanks to this bit of course. And of course we're going to grow them, but first we're going to taste them. Again, it was very salty, but I feel like these would be so good paired with seafood or on breakfast foods like smoked salmon eggs benedict we're getting fancy it tastes like it's from salt water salty and taste not like asparagus but maybe salted asparagus but the bottoms so like the chewy part probably be good in like salads. But they've got a lot of vitamin B and C and I would happily replace my Flintstone chewables any day with these. And now's the time where we grow them. I did some research and I'm pretty sure that you can propagate these in water. So you know how fast I ran to the sink, filled up a dirty cup with water and I basically just placed them right inside. As much research as I did, I cannot find the seeds. I can't find anywhere where it tells me where you can find them. So we're just gonna try propagating them. So now we wait, we're gonna see if it grows. And if you're a fellow Torontonian, just like me you can find them at st lawrence market if you're lucky so y'all let's see if we can grow these alien looking sea asparagus 